Yeah, so um, when it comes to amount of deaths related to weather, heat is definitely number one, then comes flooding. And uh, flooding, of course, it could be from rain or from storm surges. But yeah, very devastating what's happened in the Northeast, uh, in Vermont, and as well as uh, just across uh, the Hudson Valley in New York. So very sad there situation. Now, as far as our temperatures go this morning, it is a very warm start. Uh, we're starting off with lows in the low 80s, some of us in the upper 70s, but it's so humid out there that we already feel more like the mid 80s to even the low 90s out there and the sun's not even up. So it's that humid. Also, uh, there's pretty quiet conditions across the state, but thunderstorms offshore in the Atlantic, you see them right there. Well, that's not coming here. That's pressing on towards the east, getting further and further away from the coast here in Florida. So in the upper levels of the atmosphere, we're still tracking a bit of dry air. There's some dry air that has entered parts of the Panhandle in North Florida, but then also a little bit of some dry air in the mid levels associated with Saharan dust for southern half of Florida. There is that Saharan air layer. It is diminishing a little bit. This was the first plume that we've been dealing with and then the secondary plume a little more intense there with the more intense yellows indicating that there's a little more content in in what it comes to, to the dust amount in the atmosphere. So that is headed our way again Thursday. So we're going to be dealing with the hazy sunshine all through the rest of the week basically and then into the weekend. Now today around 3 34 o'clock we could get a few of those thunderstorms. In fact, a few more thunderstorms developing along that sea breeze. So also, I'm pointing uh, pointing out to you that uh, these thunderstorms could develop a little earlier in the afternoon. That's some good news because we need some relief. Now, again, it's not widespread, so not everybody's going to get this uh, relief from the heat. And you know what? The next couple of days, we're still keeping those low 90s. Now, we do expect a few more thunderstorms in the forecast for Friday and Saturday, and hopefully then the feels like temperatures won't be quite as hot.